Top 5 Facts About GTA 6 Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Before we get started, make sure to hit that like button. Also subscribe to my channel. Top 5 Facts About GTA 6 so make sure to watch the full video. One development. While Grand Theft Auto V debuted in 2013, many were surprised that the highly anticipated GTA 6 didn't begin development until 2020. Still, if you think about it, the company has already updated GTA V twice, with the five pounds slashed Xbox Series version coming in 2022. Additionally, the developers have been busy with Red Dead Redemption 2 and GTA Online. Since these games were so successful, they went to focus more on them. However, that doesn't mean that the formation of GTA GTA 6 didn't start much earlier. Many reports claim that the scene is ready, although it will continue to develop. However, the changes will be modest and instead focus on many small details. This was the case with Red Dead Redemption 2 since the script was revised six years after its completion. To platform, will it be time exclusive? Since the launch of the current generation of consoles in 2020, there is no doubt that the game will come to PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X S. It's also hard to bet against a PC version, even though it looks like it will be out in a few months. This is Rockstar's usual practice, as in GTA V they needed more time to optimize various materials. It's conceivable that the Nintendo Switch will be dismissed as not being powerful enough. Even if Nintendo releases another console in the next few years, it might never get to this point. We don't think the game will be platform exclusive, even if it's only for a few months. Rockstar Games wants to sell as many copies as possible, and not even Microsoft or Sony can make up for that. The last GTA console exclusive was San Andreas on £2 in 2004. In the end, there is no doubt that GTA 6 will have a long lifespan, so we can expect more remakes for next-gen consoles. 3. Release Date This is such a huge game that we're sure Rockstar Games doesn't have a firm release date yet, as we saw with Cyberpunk 2077. Launching a game early and postponing a launch puts a lot of pressure on developers and can lead to a shoddy product. However, reports suggest that Rockstar Games' parent company Take-Two will spend nearly $90 million on marketing between 2023 and 2024. Despite rumors of a GTA IV remake, they're unlikely to be ready to spend so much money on something other than GTA 6. Still, many don't believe the game will release until 2026, and for several reasons. These include the popularity of GTA 5, the slowdown caused by COVID-19, and concerns over employee health, which have become a hot topic lately. Finally, the five pounds and Xbox Series consoles still aren't widely available, so Rockstar would rather wait until most gamers get their hands on them. Things could be better for the PC crowd, as decent mid-range DPUs are still expensive. However, other sources claim that the game features are complete. This means that Rockstar is now hard at work perfecting the game, and it might even be released this year. For trailer and release date, Grand Theft Auto VI is showbiz's best-kept secret. While we know the game is in the works, Rockstar Games has yet to provide us with any additional information. The question is therefore not whether the announcement will take place, but when. To find out, it is better to go back in time. We received our first trailer just a week after Grand Theft Auto V launched on October 25, 2011. Although the game was released in September 2013, the original plan was to hit stores that summer. That means the game trailer was released about 18 months before it was released. Additionally, Grand Theft Auto IV has followed a similar path since its announcement in June 2006, 16 months before its original release date. According to this logic, the trailer should be released in the spring of 2023. Information from reliable sources suggests that we will learn a lot about the game's story with a focus on Lucia. 5. Realism and Graphics Grand Theft Auto games mimic the real world, so they are not meant to be real. Except for GTA, London 1969, these games are always set in fictional cities, even though they are based on real cities. Cars are fake, because manufacturers don't want their vehicles destroyed or badly damaged, as we saw in Forza Horizon 5. But that could change if you ask Jamie King, one of the co-founders of Rockstar Games. King says he expects humor and edginess, with an emphasis on authenticity. This change will undoubtedly clarify the game that everyone wants to see. Additionally, realism mods for GTA IV and GTA V add real cars, and even turn Liberty City and Los Santos into New York and Los Angeles. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button. Also, subscribe to our channel before you go.